morning guys this is PC PC TV here on your YouTube channel and uh, I thought we'd open up on a couple of uh, beautiful VW examples and of course I'm biased one being mine the other one being Mike's what year is your thing is it a 73 it's a 73 this is going to be featured in VW trends coming up and let me tell you guys for the 181 freaks out there like me oh boy and he right away came up and he goes, is this an 80s, 80s cow bug? And I'm like, okay, this dude's in the know. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. You're on PC TV. This guy knows right away what he's looking at. And as soon as he started talking Rossi taillights and, and, and knew what he was looking at, I'm like, okay, this is a guy I want to know. So, man, again, really nice meeting you today. I know you guys got to take off, but I really just want to get your car in here just real oh, fast because it's just amazing. So that's going to be Pinscher featured VW Trends. And uh, he's just really taking it to the nth here. And he's kept it very original. Hi there. Hi. It's nice to meet you today. Good yeah, look at the interior here, guys. Just beautiful. Of course, the matching beauty goes with it, too. So, and he's got, yeah, he's all stock, all Harley and everything, but he's done a beautiful job on this thing. So, all right. More shot there. All right. Somehow my camera wasn't working. Okay, look at this. Yeah, beautiful one only one thing. Oh, we can see the back side of my little butt here. All right, guys. So, yeah, yeah, continuing on this morning, we've got a beautiful group of Novas in here. Uh, we've got a 66 wagon sitting right here. This thing's all original. This is the family truckster right here back in the day. Look at this SoCal Nova's hot rod parking permit established in 2000. It's got original belts in it. It's got the wheel. It's probably, yeah, it's got the PG in it. It's got the power glide. And it's got a lot of neat stuff. He's got all kinds of memorabilia in the back of it. Love the crank down window, the original roll down window in the back here. He's running blue plates on this one. It's a little, uh, it's a little older for blue plates, but that's okay. A lot of people changed over to blue plates because they liked them. They got rid of their black plates immediately because they liked the blue plates. They were a big change for California. So yeah, that's a nice, nice example of a four door 66 wagon. Next, right next to it, you got this beautiful coupe right here. We've seen this one a few times. Um, shaved. And it's got a two-tone paint job on it. Two-tone paint job and uh, real, real clean. Custom interior. I don't know if this is TMI, but he's got a really nice center console. And he's really got top-end work done in here. I mean, this is just really, really high-end work. And it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, he's got one of the hand warmers in there that I need to replace. <laughs> so let's take a look over here. Sheet metal work is top notch. Um, he's got looks like an Alston tie in. He's running the coilovers, Mustang 2 front end style. Yeah, it's a full, it's a full subframe refront. Um, small block, AFR heads. Sorry about the bumpy camera there, my bad. Whoops. Yeah, AFR heads. Uh, looks like kind of an air gap uh, intake. Uh, Canton valve covers, which are really dope. Really do like the tie in. There goes the, there goes the, that's my son right there too, there goes the thing. Beautiful car. There's Grant and his wife. Okay, so moving on. The Nova right next to it. This looks like a, I think it's a 66. Big block, holy moly. Look what's stuffed in here, kiddos. There is a lot going on here. It's Willwood stuff, the proportion here, just proportion valve. Again, it's got the full Nova clip in the front. It's full of sheet metal out. All custom sheet metal tubs, like the way I used to do it. Now, this one's got the TMI interior in it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the French stitch with the orange stitching offsetting. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's what the guy next to it has a TMI too. It just didn't have the logo on it. This is an amazing car. What a nice combination. Wheel combination of American Racing wheels on it. Very clean, super, super clean. Nice trunk, pulled everything through nicely. I love it. Like this 56 plate on here is his 902. I believe this is 65. I'm pretty sure it's a 65. All right, we got the old Chevelle over here. This guy's been coming here forever. He's one of the old school guys. Can't have the music though, gotta get away from that music. There's Carl's right over there. He came in. 
What's up, Jim? How you doing? Good. How are PCTV. You? Thank hey. you for watching. I sure appreciate it, brother. I enjoy it. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Revenuers. Yeah. All right. We got 64 of the old gas in here, Chevelle. Hey, Carl. Hey. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Glad you came. All right. We got uh, Angels 32 Roadster here. Beautiful car. Originally Andy Tyler's car. This had triple Rochester's on it. I get to get away from the music. Sorry. Uh, had triple Rochester's on it. Super, super clean car. The scratch on this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Love the glasses that they were giving out today. And there you go. So that is Angel's car. Right, Trevor? Hey. Ooh, you got some on your chin here. What is that? Oh, this is it. Never mind. I thought you had some on your chin there. Okay, now here's another beautiful 65 Chevelle sitting right here. And uh, let me get around to here, big guy. Let me slide around here. Okay, look at the paint on this. Really nice. Yeah, it's got a few little is issues, but it's been driven. This looks like a driver to me. And again, it's got a... Uh, looks like he's got a turbo 350 in this one because he's got a three-speed setup on here. It's been driven. It's been used. Huh? Wheels are decent. Kind of like torque thrust copies. But overall, nice Malibu Chevelle. Not an SS. Oh, there's some free keys. But it is a beautiful 65 example. And you know, 65's been, and the 64 has been two of my very favorites of all. So, okay. So now we're opening up on this, uh, I believe it's LS368 SS. And it's had a conversion done on it. Hoods down, but it does claim that it's an SS3. Ah, Glocks. I got a couple, I got me a Glock just the other day. Well, K23 I just picked up. So yeah, here's another nice example. Very clean Camaro. Hey Trevor. Take a look at the front here. He's got the aftermarket, a halogen hybrid lights on it. Love to get a look at the motor. Here's that 1960 VW. Some idiot owns it. Is that when uh, they run away with the lenses? What's that? On the headlights? Oh, they're the Rossi. Uh, they're the, these are the Rossi headlights. These are super rare now. You used to buy these because in Italy you couldn't run the glass over headlights in Italy. Uh -huh. So they made you run these in Italy and they became a big cow bug accessory here in California. And everybody's saying when I first found this thing in a the garage, they said, oh, you need to get rid of those. I'm like, no, that's okay. I'll keep them. Thanks. And they're like, no, 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 you need stock headlights. And I go, hey, let's just go look and see what a pair of these go for today. And I went on eBay and they just sold a pair for 2,500 bucks. And he goes, uh, yeah, I wouldn't get rid of those headlights. I go, thanks. And I think they're cool. I mean, they're, they're so unusual. So the interior was good to go? The paint was good to go? This is the way I got the car coated in dirt with nine years of dirt on it. Flat tires, all the you know, all the oil let go from underneath. It was just a big three-foot puddle of oil. The the wheels were completely brown. The paint was brown. It was just yeah. just an inch of dust yeah, on it, dirt. just covered in dirt. And underneath, luckily, they had all the seats covered. They had the, the windows closed. So the interior, basically, I just vacuumed it out. I mean, that's all I had to do the interior. So I got really lucky. This is the original paint off the car from 1996. Yeah, you know, in a year of work, I had I put a new engine in it. I, you know, put new carburetors and of course changed all the rubbers. I put a Carter for pusher fuel pump in it. You know, so now it's at three and a half pounds exactly on the on. The, and I put the Delorto D's in it and stuff. So that's a good runner. It's fun, and this is the first time I've actually had it out today where it's really been running the best it's ever run because I've been tuning on it. So I tuned on it all day yesterday just to be able to bring it today. <laughs> so yeah, it's a fun one. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Look at this Dodge though, dude. What year is this Dodge? Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Is this yours? Wow. It's really exceptional. You know what I really liked about the fact is they went with these elliptical headlights back then. I think that was so Plymouth did that. A few of the other companies that did these those elliptical headlights. You know, around headlights all that all good, but that's gorgeous. And this is such an unusual car. Now, these are the horns I actually have in my C10. That is, I actually have those horns in my C10. Oh, yeah. Everybody's, where'd those come out? I go, it came out of 39 Dodge. And they're like, what? And I go, yeah, they're 39 Dodge horns. But yeah, it's so funny to see my horns sitting there. <laughs> this thing's really sweet. Look at this. Wow. It's got all the original wood on it. <laughs> Does it really? It's not wood, what is this wood? It, it's, it's, it's a treatment, isn't it? It's uh, somebody who painted it. 
That's painted, huh? Wow, that's really amazing. This is a business cube? Yeah, it's like a business cube. Yeah, so it's all it's all party in the front, business in the back. Yeah, this thing was nothing. This is all nothing but storage back here for this thing. And a lot of these guys, they actually even slid them up so they sleep in them. You know, they take all their salesman stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, that's back when you were, you know, the real uh, the real on-the-road salesman. Yeah. Here we got a nice, uh, thanks, but, by the way. Beautiful 6'4", four, four-door shave. Uh, very clean. You know, I've had a lot of 6'4s. Uh, it's a poster. Yeah, it's been around the block. It's all right. The really good thing about these is they you can make them shine. Sometimes yeah. the aluminum. Kind of a survivor car. Uh, he's running 100 spoke wire. Don't know if he's on jizz. Very nice four door example in the 64. And there's an Impala. It's got the six tail lights. Now over here we got a 63 that's really clean. Another four door. Very clean sedan though. See, you don't have the cover killers like I do. Uh, that, that, that's so sharp on my car that tear the cover up. Oh, yeah. Very cool. All right. That moving on, moving on. So again, that Dodge is exceptional. It has a bolt for you. Let's see what's next to the Dodge. What was that? The headlights you called them what? Well, they're kind of like asymmetrical elliptical type headlights instead of being round. I just like the fact that they got that oval look to them. And I don't know what bulb that they probably used a separate bulb on them or whatnot because I don't think you could replace those as sealed beams. But they're just so cool because you know anything other because if you look at an eight inch round, everything's got eight inch round headlights on. Them. And then you look at the Plymouth and the Dodges and stuff, and even like the Fords. Of the 30s and stuff, they had those square headlights on them and stuff. Right. Just badass. I love that look. And it's funny because now all the new cars, there's no, started. you never see a round headlight on a new car anytime ever. Right. You know, everything's all designed now. Look at this one, man. Nice double nickel right here. This one's really sweet. This guy kept it very original, man. He kept his battery in the same place. He's got his, he's got his radiator in the stock place, and he's got his fan exactly where I say never to put it. But he's got his fan right where I say never to put it. But that's his choice. I personally would have flipped the radiator forward, done the radiator flip, and I would have had a puller fan on this because you get just that much better efficiency out of your cooling. But that's just me. Um, but the car itself is just amazing. Um, he's running rallies. He's got triple bar knockoffs. It's a two, uh, nice two-tone job, Bel Air. It's the creamsicle look. If you guys ever liked creamsicles as a kid, I could go for a creamsicle right now. <laughs> you remember the orange creamsicles? That's what this reminds me of, and it's just really, really beautiful. And it's got just a nice original flavor to it, so I wasn't criticizing his engine at all. Not in the slightest. I, I really like what he did there. I'm just not down with the pusher fans. That's just my thing. And that's just from an engineering standpoint and, and just understanding um, airflow. Okay, so let's go over here to this beautiful bubble top. Oh, where is he? Are you looking for the owner? Yeah, I talked to him a few times. Oh, he's right there. Oh, yeah, with the right shirt. There he is. Yep, yep, yep. And I've talked to him a few. He's such a nice guy. But this car here is all original. And we've had this featured on the show a couple of times. And uh, very proud with his original paint. And all of the original interior. Um, it's a 348 car. It might be a 409, but I think it's a 348 car. I'll have to double check. And uh, anyway, super nice guy that owns it. I can't think of his name right now, but just beautiful here. And uh, he's a small block on this one. Yeah, I think this one got a small block conversion somewhere along the line. It's almost like the same engine out of my Camaro. I don't think it's through a fly. Oh, Brave's got his uh, MG here today. I believe this is a 59-1600 Mark uh, II. There we go. And we got our beautiful MGB out of North Carolina. This is the, one of my, oh, this is my favorite. What a sweetheart. So that's what's happening out of Cars and Brush today, you guys. We got a few things here. I'm starving. I'm ready for some breakfast. We're gonna keep on uh, doing a little more shooting and then once we're done here, I said Trevor and I are gonna get some food. You guys are becoming regulars. Here's my little favorite little Mini Cooper right here. Another beautiful car. Yeah. Awesome, that's awesome, man.
Hey, you guys are getting to be regulars over here now. This is like the new ball ball, right? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? My favorite, my favorite British group right here. I love it. Where's your car, Matt? This is the mini. Is it, is it, which one's yours? Oh, I didn't even see it. It's like, why aren't you with the rest of the group? <laughs> You're hiding it. You're like, oh man, it's getting a little rough. I'm going to hide it. <laughs> I love this mini. All right, well, I think that's it for us for until we go have some breakfast, and we'll come back out and take a look, see what the crowd changes. So, here we are at Chihuahuas. This is Cars and Brunch on PC TV. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be live here in the next couple of months. So, next time you see one of these feeds, we'll be live. You gotta get the front end shot. I do love this car. I mean, I just, God, it's so pretty. Such a pretty car. I brought my little bug today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got my little, my little red bug there. All right, so we'll see you guys here short. There goes that beautiful Dodge rolling out. That was stellar. Definitely one of the best cars of the day. Beautiful car, beautiful car. All right. And here's the lineup. Uh, here's at um, Bars and Brunch. And do keep in mind, it's here at Chihuahua Cerveza. Come on down, enjoy the great food and the company because there's always a lot of great people here too well guys here's the second half of uh cars and brunch here at uh chihuahuas and i'm hanging out here at trisha bell's super badass silverado look at this thing man this is a custom build for her she can use her chair she can drive this thing like a normal car and let me tell you something she's rolling tight such a sweet lady so all the novas are still here the whole gang um, looks like we've got uh, a couple new cars that showed up. Another thing showed up, and I always forget the next nice gentleman's name. I think it's Jim. And then we've got the uh, SS Nova here, the 64. And then, what's that, bud? Okay. Looks like we got a winner coming up here. All right, we got a nice double nickel here. And uh, here's this beautiful other thing. This is the twin, almost the one that was here today. Except this one's built more for off-road and for the beach. This is a, this is definitely a. That one's definitely more for the the dirt. Uh, a nice 60 cal bug owned by you know who. Brought that today, and then we got Gary's uh, 29 coupe here today. He brought that out, and his whole family, just wonderful people. Um, a really interesting car. And by the way, we've got a couple of four-door Impalas here that I showed earlier. Here's that 6.4 going with a hundred spoke. But here's a really interesting car. This is a 360. They call it a 360. They, they came as 340 Demons originally. And this thing has got, man, he's got cheaters on it. I don't know if he's tub. Look at the size of the exhaust on this thing. It's just a monster. I mean, this thing's a monster. It's beautiful. I had a 340. Oh, yeah? Yeah. B&M floor shifter automatic. He's got all the... Uh... I don't remember. No, this guy, they never built one. No wonder. This is custom. And uh, yeah, and then he's got the uh, auto meter, uh, the silver gauges like I used to have in my Pro Street. Sparko Seeds. Yeah, this is a full custom restaurant build. Oh my God, look at all the amperage. And dude, this guy's got some serious sound back here. Wow. Serious freaking sound. Had to get a picture of that. Sorry. And you look up front here. Yeah, he's got the Mopar Magnum 360. That came out of a late model. Um, not sure what year it came out of. He's got, it looks like a 750 or 850 double pump around here. Yeah, he's running the double pumper. He's got a serpentine setup, and he's running the Sandex, um, the rotary compressor, so he's got aftermarket air in it. Um, MSD ignition, um, basic stock, but also, if you notice, no vacuum. He's running Armstrong brakes here. Like his breather setup. His grill is really cool. And this is a Plymouth, by the way. It's not a. It's not a. Uh, it's not a Dodge Dart. It is a Duster. And it just showed up here earlier. Um, and again, let's get one more look at this uh, double nickel, the cream sickle, I call it. Really beautiful car. I mean, exceptionally beautiful car. And we got some great quality out here today. And of course, there's our British row. All the Brits. And uh, for now, that's going to shut us down here at uh, Cars and Coffee. Uh, cars and Brunch here in Newport Beach. <laughs> I said Cars and Coffee. I had my mind on San Clemente. And uh, we'll see you guys out there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some stills. And I hope everybody has a great week. And we'll see you around out there on YouTube land. PCTV out.